We got some Apple news for you. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. So what we have today is about 10 or 12 different Apple news stories. I've done these before, so if you guys like these, definitely let me know in the comments. Today I'm gonna to show you some really good sales on Apple equipment, talk about some of their services, some things about Apple in general. We always talk about products, services, and everything in between, so if you're interested in Apple products and services, definitely subscribe to my channel. I do a whole bunch of different things, including reviews of all different tech and everything. At the end of the day, though, we're gonna go through these 12 different stories right away. Let's get into story number one. All right, story number one is gonna just be kind of a price drop, all right? If you look at my screen over here, this is gonna be on Mac Rumors, but Samsung's having a big sale at their website right now. And I always talked about this monitor. It's called a smart monitor, the M8 Samsung monitor. 32 inches, 4K monitor. Works great with like the M2 Mac mini. So if you're looking for a large screen at 4K, $4.99 right now for this monitor. It used to be $6.99, that wasn't a good price. $4.99 makes this a lot more attractive. So story number one, check out Samsung's website. All right, story number two is very similar. If you're looking for a 24 inch iMac and you don't wanna wait for the M2 or the M3 to come out, take a look over here at my screen. Right now it says Apple's entry level M1 hits the lowest price on Amazon right now at $9.99. Think about that. It used to be $12.99, now it's $9.99 on Amazon, and I was like looking at this and I was like, let's go over to Amazon and check it out. So I went over there and they kind of list the pink one here for $9.99, but still, that's an incredible price for that 4.5 inch screen, for 4.5 inch, 4.5 K screen, and also just what you get there. The, the computer still works perfect. I got an M1 Air here, it works perfect. So check that out, that's the best deal you can get for you know really an Apple computer right now, I think, with that awesome screen. At least it's the best all-in-one you can get for $9.99. All right, story number three is a little different. So if you look over here, this is basically, again, uh, I believe it's Mac Rumors. It says, Microsoft completes rollout of basic iMessage support for Windows 11. So it says it completed the rollout of the iPhone support on its phone link app on Windows 11. So if you use Windows 11, but you wanna get iMessages, there's actually a way to do it now. Now it says down here that it, it's basically for Windows 11. Again, iPhone users can make and receive phone calls and send and receive texts and view notifications directly on their PC, which is kind of cool, right? But then it also has some limitations down here. It says um, it supports iMessage, although there are several, several limitations, including lack of support for group chats, photos, videos, and conversation history. So obviously there's some pros and there's some cons, but if you do want to get iMessages on a Windows, Windows 11, it's now available. Kind of cool for some people out there that have to use it for work and stuff. All right, the next story is kind of interesting. So if you look over at the screen here, it says Apple books nearly 90% of TSMC's three, nanom three nanometer production. And those are gonna be the, the better, obviously faster, more power efficient chips that they're actually coming out with. But Apple's booked 90% of those chips and it's all from TSMC. So this is good and bad, right? Let's think about this for a second. It means that Apple's thinking, you know, in the future, they're gonna be coming out with these very soon. And obviously with the M3 chip coming out, they're gonna be using this process. So that's all good news. They're expecting, obviously, a big haul of them if they're buying 90% of the total chips out there. But then if we look at the next story right after this, and this is, this is what got, has me just a little bit worried. So look over at my screen over here. It says Warren Buffett sold all of TSMC shares over concerns about Taiwan stability, all right? So let's put these two together. So here's Warren Buffett selling all of his shares in the company that Apple's buying 90% of its chips from because it's afraid of an invasion maybe from China into Taiwan. So if we think about that for a second, what would that do to Apple and Apple's entire computer industry, right, if that happened? It's gonna be pretty catastrophic obviously for all the you know the M3 chips and everything else coming out so right now I think we're kind of in that kind of weird area where it can go either way Warren Buffett's not trusting it so again good news and bad news at the same time and sometimes that's all we have so if you're thinking about buying the M3 chip maybe next year it's a possibility it may not come out all right, the next story is from 9to5Mac. Let's take a look over here. And I like this one. So this is the Apple says it's the M2 Mac Mini's even better value right now, which is crazy, right? It's on sale right now at from about 500, 499 bucks for the, not even the student discount, just the regular M2 Mac Mini. So if I go over here and I click on this, it says 499 ship down here. You can see it right there. So I'm gonna click on that, let this come up. Again, it's on Amazon right now. I can see it right here, 499. It's not the student discount. So you get a hundred bucks off of it, which is already probably the best deal in the industry for a computer, especially that M2 chip. So if you're thinking about buying the M2 Mac Mini right now, at least the base model, now is the time. I think this is one of the best deals I've seen so far. 17% off right now, pick one up, they're great. 
All right, so the next story is kind of interesting as well. Apple does really well, obviously, selling their iPhones. Take a look at my screen. Apple, again, emerges as the only winner in the declining smartphone market. Pretty crazy, right? So let's look at the stats down here. Let's see what they say. So if you look down here, Apple's up 18%. See this right here? Realme is down 5%, negative 5 Oppo's down 10%, uh, MI, me, I guess they call it, it's 13% down. Samsung, 16% down. Vivo's 26% down. So if you look at this, this is pretty incredible. All basically the Chinese manufacturers are all down. And here's Apple at plus 18%, which is pretty crazy considering how much they charge for their phones. So Apple's doing really well there. And uh, at the end of the day, we're gonna see how long this lasts. Cause I know there's gonna be a time where people just wanna hold onto their phones a lot longer because they just got so good. You don't have to change that often. All right, next story over here is from Mac Rumors. It says Gurman, the guy that is almost never right, but sometimes, he says Apple testing M3 Pro chip for the MacBook Pro with a 12 core CPU and 18 core GPU. Why is that interesting? It just tells you that basically, if I look down here, it says the M2 Pro chip basically had 10 cores and 16 core GPU and 16 gigs of memory. So it looks like maybe the base model is gonna come with 12 cores instead of 10 cores in the CPU side. 18 instead of 16 on the GPU side, and possibly, I think in here it says 36 gigs of memory. I don't think that's gonna be the base. That does not sound right, but maybe instead of the 16, 36 is kind of a kind of a weird number too, isn't it? Uh, it's you know 16, 32, 36. I don't know even know where that came, comes from, but basically it's 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 right in here. So, anyways, there's the story. I'm sticking to it, and that's from Mark Gurman. The next story is kind of a feel-good story or kind of a fun story doesn't make me feel too good because I'm not the one making the money on this, but look over at my screen over here. It says checks signed by Steve Jobs sells for over 100K at auction. So this little check here, I guess it was from Apple Computer Company way back in the day that they were in Palo Alto, California, the little garage that they had. He signed it right there for $175 only, and now it went on auction. It made $106,985 in auction. So somebody has that somewhere sitting in a picture frame or something. I just don't know, like with all this stuff and all these old things that people keep buying for all this money, eventually I think, you know, in maybe 100 years, 200 years, nobody's even gonna remember these people, and I think it's just gonna be worthless, but you let me know what you think. A check for $106,000? I don't know. All right, so this next one's actually gonna be really good for a lot of people, especially people that need this. Look at my screen over here. It says, Apple's new personal voice feature can create a voice that sounds like you or a loved one in 15 minutes. So I was reading through the article, I'm like, why is this needed? Well, it's kind of cool. So for people that are losing their voice due to an illness or something, they can record their voice. It's machine learning, here's AI, and you basically take 15 minutes and you record your voice, and this system will go ahead and then remember that, and, it can, and then you can type later, and it'll sound just like you in text messages or however you want to do it, but it'll record, it'll, it'll talk back in your voice, even though you only spend 15 minutes minutes teaching it. Really cool. I think, I think it's available for everybody. Um, but anyways, you guys can check this out. It says it's, actually, it says it's a preview of iOS 17. So there, when that comes out, basically, it's going to be in there. So it's, it's a really cool feature, right? So you're going to be able to say, you know, instead of just having computer generated voices and stuff, it'll actually be in your real voice. And it's only going to take about 15 minutes to train it. All right, so this next story, if I haven't scared you enough with the Taiwan story about Apple maybe not being able to get the three nanometer chips, this one's a little interesting as well. Let's look over here. Falling Mac sales have Apple's OLED panel suppliers spooked. So it's basically saying that, you know, obviously I showed you a couple, maybe a month or two ago, that Apple's Mac sales were quite down. Now it's saying that the OLED, people that were going to supply the OLED, you know, panels, in, in, I think it's 2024 to 2026, they're going to try to start coming out with these on Apple systems. They're saying that they're kind of spooked and they were going to be creating all these different factories for these panels, but they haven't started yet. So is that going to be delayed now because they're worried about there's not enough sales for Macs and stuff like that? It's kind of a vicious cycle, but the article is kind of interesting. But if, if, if they keep falling like this, the Mac sales, then these companies aren't going to invest in those kind of huge, you know, those huge factories. I almost said it. Huge factories. And, uh, and then we won't get the OLEDs in time and it might be another five years. Let's hope not. All right, this next one's a little funny. It's a little interesting and it's kind of lets you, you know, you got to wonder about it, right? Let's look over here. It says, will the 15 inch MacBook Air lack this one feature? Well, what feature is that, right? Well, it's the feature everyone's worried about. So they thought it was gonna come out with the M3. Now they're saying it's the M2. If it's the M2, is it gonna lack the feature of multiple screens, right? And I think it is. So obviously the M2 and the M1 can really connect to one external display that's different than its original. And they're afraid that this new one, this 15 inch may have the same issue. It's an issue that they should fix pretty easily. And we just don't know why they're doing that. 
at the end of the day, I think it's kind of to separate the different product you know, lines or something to do with the board or something. But if we're gonna get the M2 chip in this, I do believe that it might be the same thing where you're only gonna have that one external screen. screen. And uh, it's a question that has to be asked and we're gonna find out here shortly, maybe in less than a month. But anyways, I, I do hope they've actually fixed that. And I think everybody else does too. All right, and then the final article is gonna be right here. It says, loose lips sink ships. It says, Project Titan, they call it Titanic, engineer charged by DOJ for stealing Apple's self-driving tech. So if you look over at this article, it does say you know, that Apple is working on self-driving technology, maybe for their car one day that it ever comes out. But at the end of the day, there was someone reported from China that's actually stealing data from 2016 to 2018. They had broad access to the databases and they were sending it over to China to help with their car, car manufacturers with the data. And long story short, you gotta, be, you gotta be really careful nowadays, right? I read the article too and it's kind of funny because it says, you know, only 2,700 employees had access to the data. Well, 2,700 employees is a lot of people if it's really important data like that or if it's cutting edge data. And at the end of the day, you see what happened. It gets sold somewhere. And it seems like it always happens, especially in America. I don't know how you can fix it um, except put people in jail for really long times, but that doesn't even seem to help sometimes. All right, I'm just gonna wrap this up. I hope you guys like these stories and these are just fun stories I like to come up with. I need some filler videos like this because I'm always doing product reviews. I need time to review them, get them in, test the products, things like that. So I like to do these. Let me know in the comments, click the like button so I can keep making these so that at least I get something in the algorithm where I can get you know at least some views on these videos. Do a lot of work for them and I just like to show people what's the news out there. I hope you like them and we'll talk to you in a day or two. Peace.